All right, here I am. So I have not done a video in a long time. Oh, well, I haven't posted it. I've done some videos and I gotta sift back through them and see if I wanna post them and all that stuff. But in any case, we have had a lot going on around here. And I was sick, really bad sick for about two weeks. And then we had an epic flooding event from all the rain and then I'm sick again so I don't know what's going on probably all these animals I got all kinds of projects going on got all this cedar boards I'm building a pantry and shelves and a loft bed so there's just a lot going on around here <clears throat> the water got up out there it got up let's say about 18 inches so I had to build these platforms so the goats could live there for a week and they still are hanging out there we got I've heard 17 inches of rain in just a couple days that's what I heard so our rain gauge maxed out and was overflowing Here's all the rabbits. So last time I posted a video, we think the rabbits were pregnant. Well, it's been long enough where we got the little babies. Oh, look at all the babies. They're so cute. Oh, I like baby rabbits, huh? The baby spending time with mama. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. You see, I'm just going to sit on mama's back. I'm just going to relax. So these, Sarah, she's already had babies a while back, then we had more babies. She had her babies and they're all grown up, so I have all this hay that I've been giving the goats, and we have just got a mess. So. Now that everything is cleared up. What are you doing, Rosie? That's so silly. <clears throat> hey, Phoebe. Oh, it's Phoebe. It's the goat. Oh. I'm going to move that uh, old chicken coop out to where the front pasture is, to where those sheep are grazing out there. That's one thing I got to do. I'm going to focus on these rabbits for a little bit, get their water filled up, and then go take a gander at the garden. Here's this bed and the progress of it. These beautiful flowers, huh? Look at that. Probably pollinators, I guess. And we have these beautiful brads atomic where they change colors when they're ready to be harvested. And we do have quite a bit of caterpillars coming through here, having their fair share, really an unfair share of their piece of the pie. But these are some type of cherry tomato. Let me look for a ripe one. So, see they have like this protective outer shell or uh, cocoon. And on the inside is a nice, sweet, I'm going to call it a cherry tomato. Um, but it's different than, obviously it's different than your store-bought cherry tomato. There may be a scientific uh, name for it, but I don't know it. We'll go over here to these beds over here and see what's going on. So we have been eating beans and they are good. These are the purple potted pole beans. And they are not only beautiful, but they're super yummy, okay? And I built this uh, string trellis so they can kind of have a uh, lattice to grow on, obviously. And they're super good. This is one of the bigger ones. That's probably eight. 
six eight inches there and what's interesting about them is once you're cooking them and you apply heat to them and they almost are done or they are done they turn green which is really fascinating and we are inundated with tomatoes we have got tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes and we have made a lot of salsa we've done a lot of things with them i like eating them just like off the vine just come get a couple off the vine and eat them this particular kind the caterpillars have just absolutely ravaged so i've kind of elevated them off the ground and it got to be where it's not even really practical trying to get the caterpillars out maybe some pesticides but we're trying not to use them um but we can go through here and find these little caterpillars like right there oh what is that oh look at you you're just eating all my tomato leaves and tomatoes so that's what crawls around and puts all these little holes just like a buffet so i'm gonna take it and get rid of it okay so i killed 20 on one plant the other day here's that garden there we have a bunch of quite a bit of harvested we just harvested the past this past weekend so we're kind of maybe short on jalapenos banana peppers and the poblano peppers are coming out here poblano peppers oh yeah look at that banana peppers over there there's more banana peppers and these beans here so this is the first these just started sprouting here this is i don't think we've ate these yet we're kind of waiting to get more of them there's quite a few there so that's cool huh i like that and here we have cucumber she must have missed that one because she's pickling them and that's a gonna be a big pickle we do have quite a bit of those we've probably gotten this maybe 20 30 so far even with the flood so this part of the garden up front here we've got quite a bit of water but the back part actually back here got water up to about there and it was all through here so everything was underwater so those got saturated there that's nice huh here's okra okra starting to come out flowering there's some more well, here's a here's an okra flower that's beautiful huh when you buy it buy uh fruits and vegetables from the store you don't see the growing process so the appreciation isn't there as much from my experience so it's just beautiful to see how everything grows but okra is probably one of the most boringest things to buy and some people don't care for it but if you learn to appreciate it and see how beautiful it is it'll really change your perspective it has mine our corn is really struggling <laughs> here's our corn patch here it was underwater so it did a lot better than <clears throat> i thought it was going to be um i think we have one ear of corn <laughs> maybe we'll no we have more look at that we actually have more ears of corn maybe they'll be like them little chinese corns at the chinese buffet or in your um stir fry <laughs> maybe that's where that corn comes from ah here's more okra we have a bunch of squash but i think she's 
harvested some of it. There's some baby, baby squash. So we're gonna go over here to these tires. I've been trying to tidy up and straighten up things. I just put a above ground pool in. So everybody wanted a pool. That was quite a job. Man, I got dizzy blowing that thing up. But it's done. So let me see any beautiful squashes. She'll have to. I think that's crooked neck squash. And then over here we have pumpkin. One pumpkin so far. Right there. That's cool, huh? And all that frosted. Uh, Frosting powdery stuff is diatomaceous earth. It's a natural organic Pesticide I guess you can call it a pesticide. I don't think it really classifies as a traditional pesticide, but it it uh, Has benefits to keeping certain critters away There's a watermelon I built this flowing trellis I just kept adding and adding and adding uh, fencing just to accommodate the growth. The blueberry trees are doing well. They have taken off. And we have some new growth on them. So that's pretty, huh? Let's see what else we have around here. We have the chickens just free ranging okay so the hardest thing I have done out of all my projects on this homestead is pull out this bush this bush does not want to come out the ground and I pretty much got it I've been working on this thing for three months I had to burn it poison it put a foil around it drag some out of it it broke two 600 pound ratchet straps it has been quite an ordeal okay in a previous video i think the bush was there maybe half burnt i don't know what kind of bush it is but i guarantee you this one thing you don't ever want to try to pull it out okay here's our first sunflower well I'm gonna call it a second. That one fell over. Oh, that's sad. Why'd you fall over? I'll have to string it up. Hmm, she strung up some. But this sunflower here is pointing exactly east, waiting on the sun to come over the horizon. You just hang on there, little buddy. It'll be there. You don't worry. Okay, so that's the garden. It's nice, huh? I like it. Something got to this tomato vine. It was pretty bad and it like ate the vine up there. And so I cut it. And now I'm just hanging it and letting them vine or ripen. Same thing with that one. So they don't go to waste for our salsa, tomato sauce, and whatever else you can do tomatoes with. We had hamburgers with nice, nice, uh, big cut um, slices of tomatoes, and these are really cool and they're good. This tomato here, I can't remember the name, but they're a different one you don't see in the store. Here's what we got just from the past couple days, few days. So you got your pickling cucumber, squash, and this this was hurt by the the water, the standing water from the flood. This squash. So she went ahead and harvested it because it was starting to suffer. I don't know what we're going to do with it. I'm not so sure as if she knows what she's going to do with it, but we don't want to waste it here's the salsa that we make 
so she made this one here and it's really good not too hot we didn't have a lot of jalapenos so we didn't put a lot of jalapenos in it um, but it's really good so that's just a a glance at what we've harvested just recently